Another utility program that we have available is in the IEB Print Punch. And the purpose of this utility is primarily to print output data from a partition data set or a sequential file. Now, as we've seen already, we can use IEB Generate for that purpose. But where IEB Print Punch can still have some utility is when we need to print an entire partition data set. And in particular, what we're looking at then is, is the ability to use the print or the punch command in order to be able to create output either in an 80 byte format or to print larger type files. And so essentially in this case here, even though we have a punch command, we are no longer going to punch cards obviously. And so as a result, it's basically a vehicle that we can use when we have an 80 byte card image we can use the punch and still direct it to our normal output queue for viewing. And in that way, we can end up creating output then that is not a print line format, but is rather an 80 byte image format that we can then use technically as JCL that we want to create for anything else. We can also select individual members to be printed or punched for that purpose. And we can also process the directories that are associated with partition data sets. So in general, as we said, what we can do then is, is that this is useful if we want to print a large amount of information with multiple members. The JCL requirements, again, we have a sysprint that defines our message data set. We have a sysut1 identifying our input data set, sysut2 identifying output, and sysin identifying any input control statements that we need to process. Basically, in this case here, what we would be doing is, is that we would printing the entire library called sys1.parmlib, and we would be producing the output here. Notice that we've indicated punch, which means we're going to be creating an 80 byte card image. And we specified that the type organization is PO, indicating it's a partitioned organization. The only thing that may seem a bit unusual is, is that we have a block size of 81 bytes coded for the receiving output data set. And the reason for that is, is because there is an extra byte added, which is a control character, which was used by the old card punches. And as a result, that is going to be ignored. So when we code 81, we are going to get the 80 byte output that we want minus that card control character that would normally be associated with it. So in this case here, the control statements we're going to be looking at are going to be the print or punch statement. We can specify a title if we wanted to include that in our output. Again, we can indicate whether there are exits that are going to be invoked, which would be user written programs. We can specify individual members that we want to process individual record formats that are going to be printed or punched, and then also indicating whether labels for tapes should be processed as data. So let's take a look at this particular demonstration so that we can see what this looks like. Looking at the JCL in this case, we have the IEB print punch and we are going to be printing the sys1.parmlib data set and you can see the control statement here indicates it's a partition data set so when I submit this every member within that PDS is going to be printed so in this case now what I can do is, is that I have this out there so I'm going to go ahead now and go and take a look at my output and in this case now I select it I go to my sysut2 which was the print output data set and when I select this you can see that we have the member name and then we have printed the individual entries and every member name that we have out here is going to be set this way and then we are going to print the entry that's associated with it. This is a good way in the event that you need to take a look, for example, at a partition data set that has source code like this in it, you know, and if you want to retain some sort of a hard copy just to be able to review all of the members, this would be one way in which you could do something like that.